Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com and today we're going to talk about vitamin D3 and how good it is for you. And there's two secrets about taking this and how to take it to do it right because I did it for a long time and it wasn't working and when I figured out why I was like, oh, that made a lot of sense. Vitamin D3 is the sun vitamin, okay? Here's the thing. It's actually a hormone. Okay, um, this is actually from the vitamin shop. I normally get Nordic. Nordic is great, but this is just as good. I When I take it, I notice the results, okay? So vitamin D3, believe it or not, is a hormone. Okay, they call it vitamin D3, but let's, your hair has vitamin D3, uh, what are they called, uh, receptor sites, okay? So <clears throat> let's let's back up a little bit. So we're talking about eggs and cholesterol, right? It's really good for your hair, your skin, your eyes and your brain. Okay, all your brain lives off of fat and it lives off of cholesterol or healthy cholesterol. So here's the secret. Vitamin D3 normally, the, the healthiest way to get vitamin D3 is from the sun hitting your skin. And it I'm not gonna go into the scientific detail, but it basically transfers an energy in it and it, it releases or turns something in your skin. I forget the name of it, but it turns it into or releases vitamin D3 into your system. That's the healthiest way to do it. Well, in the wintertime, everyone recommends, especially if you live in the northern hemisphere or like the southern, southern, like if you're on the south, near the south pole or the southern uh, part, depending if, when it's winter. Let's just say it's, if you live in the northern or far, let's just stick the northern to confuse you. So in America, if you live in the Northern Hemisphere or Europe, it's at Russia, etc. In the wintertime, you get less and less sun. I make my, luckily I don't live too far north, but I live far enough north where it does, it does get cold. But I make myself go out in the sun for an hour every day with my shorts on. I go to this place in the park and luckily in January it warms up because we're near the ocean. This warmth comes in for about three weeks. And I make myself go out in the sun for a, over an hour every day. And man, my the difference in my mood, massive, okay? Then what happened was, I don't know why, but I, I didn't believe in vitamin D3 no matter how much I heard it. I started taking vitamin D3 about two years ago. And all the experts say to take a minimum of 3,000 up to 5,000 a day. 5,000 a day for me was too much. It kind of made me feel funny. But I take three or 4,000 a day. It's a mood lifter. Again, it's not caffeine. It's not an energy drink. But you just you feel better. You're happier. And I don't know why. And I started realizing every time I was taking these things, hours later, I started feeling really, really good. But here's the two secrets. Guess what? You have to take vitamin D3 with fat, avocado, milk, butter, eggs okay not all of them at once uh what i do is i usually do the eggs in the morning and i'll do a little i don't drink much milk i drink like that much milk because it has fat and protein in it okay we've already made the videos the last couple of videos about how healthy fat and and how good it is for you well here's what happens when you combine vitamin d3 with a, a fat source oh another fat source is fish oil by the way with with a fat source it absorbs into your system. Without that fat source, it doesn't absorb into your system. Once again, there's another reason why fat is really healthy for you. Now, I'm going to give you one more thing. Vitamins. Now, I'm saying vitamins, not minerals. Minerals are a little bit different, okay? Most of your vitamins need a fat source to absorb into your system. So generally what I will do is I will take my vitamin D3 after I eat a meal, and then I usually will wait about 20 minutes, and then I'll take a vitamin, okay? Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Oh, there is one, oh, one more. I forgot. Here's a second one. You should also take your vitamin D3 in the morning or around noon or before. Um, I, they didn't say the reason why. I think it's because it's your natural cycle to get vitamin D3 during the daytime. I don't know if it, I don't think it keeps you up at night, but I think it's just healthier for you. Maybe it will keep you up if you take it too late. But anyways, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. At MikeColleen.com. Number one, take fat with your vitamins and your minerals and do your, or your vitamin D3, I'm so sorry. Uh, with your fat, take it in the morning. And that's it. And, and with your fat. Sorry, I kind of messed that up. See you guys in the next video. I won't mess that one up. Bye.